Good morning, <clears throat> Kansas City. Good morning. Hello, Angela Jennings in South Africa. Good morning. Yarabashi. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Let's get it cranked up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Daryl Pinder, Pinder in the Bahamas. Hello, Edmond, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, I'm coming your way. Amarillo, Texas, good morning. Hello, Christine Jackman. So good of you to join me this morning. I should turn it over and let you pray. At least I go without sleep. Keisha Boston, good morning. It's been a minute since I've seen you, Keisha. Share this with your friends, invite your followers. Somebody's going to get free today. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Where are my friends in Tampa? I have not seen you. I am looking for you. Flip the switch. <clears throat> Help me, Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer, the epicenter for church life, equipping, training, of course, prayer in South Florida. I'm also the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network and, of course, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Today's devotion titled, It's Never Too Late to Start Over. And here's what I heard the Lord say. No matter what destruction the enemy has brought to your life, you can start over again. Father started over with Noah after the destruction of the flood. He made a covenant with man never to flood the earth again. And he has made a covenant with you through his son. So be at peace, says God, knowing that when the enemy comes in like a flood, Father will raise up a standard against him. And what the enemy meant for harm, Father means for good. You can start again in my grace. It's never too late to start over in Christ. Amen. That's a good word. Somebody be encouraged today. Genesis 9, 17, Isaiah 59, verse 19, and Genesis chapter 50, verse 20 are the scripture references for today. And the prayer starter from the devotional. Thank you for your covenant with me. Thank you for protecting me from the wiles of the enemy. Thank you for giving me a fresh start in Christ. Anoint me to walk out of the old season and into what you have planned for me. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. God is good. We give you praise and honor and glory today, God, because you are good. You are the good, good Father. You are overwhelmingly good. Father, we won't allow situations to overwhelm us, but we will instead focus on you and be overwhelmed with your goodness. Be overwhelmed with your glory. Be overwhelmed with your kindness. We will be overwhelmed by you if we're going to be overwhelmed by anything at all. It's going to be about you gazing upon your beauty, seeing who you are. Jesus Christ, fully God, fully man, having walked the earth sinless, Dying on a cross to pay the price for our sins. We will look upon you. Will we, be, we will behold your beauty. The beauty of our beautiful Savior. God, help us today to be a people of one thing. 
One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that will I seek. God, help us first to seek you, seek your kingdom, seek your ways, seek your will, seek you in all of our ways, acknowledge you in all of our ways. God, it's all about you this morning. Jesus, you have the preeminence. Jesus, you are supreme. You rule and reign over all creation. By wisdom, the world was founded, and you are the embodiment of wisdom. So we praise you, the wise God. We praise you, the living God. We praise you, the true God. All other gods are liars. They're idols. God, we cast down our idols today. We don't want to worship anything or anyone but you. God, if there's anything in our life that has taken your rightful place, your word says, have no other gods before me. If there's anything in our life that has taken it's your rightful place, God, make it known to us. Please, Jesus, show mercy upon us. Don't allow us to walk in the deception of the world, the deception of the age, the deception of Babylonian systems, the deception of religion, the deception of Jezebel, the deception of principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, the deception of our heart, because the heart is wicked above all things who can know it God but you do you know our heart you know our frame and you remember that we, we are but dust so help us God help us God to see what we could never see apart from revelation from the father help us Lord to see what we could never see about ourselves apart from the revelation of the father help us Lord to walk and move with clean hands and a pure heart oh God renew in us a right spirit and cleanse us from all unrighteousness God whatever idol we have set before you put before you put in your place God we cast it down we throw it down we smash it to bits God if family comes before you we say Lord help us make an adjustment if money comes before you Lord we say help us make that adjustment if if if, if career comes before you we say Lord help us make that adjustment for family is good and ministry is good and career is good and money is fine it's all part of the experience but God we must have you first place in our lives at all costs it must be about you first you first you first you first you first God it's about you we want to put you first so wherever we have it make it known to us because in your presence is fullness of joy in your presence is fullness of joy in your presence is fullness of peace in your presence is fullness of provision in your presence there's fullness of healing power delivering power in your presence there is everything that we could ever hope for in your presence so help us to make the adjustment to make the shift to be able to see whatever areas of our life are out of balance for the enemy comes looking for the unbalanced looking for the unstable looking for easy prey God let that not be us today we put you first place we give you the preeminence we're gonna make the adjustments we're gonna make the adjustments to get up earlier in the morning to seek your face to stay in your word a little longer more than five minutes more than we spend watching TV God would you help us to shift and flip the script come on now we're gonna get into something that you'll like in a minute right now some of y'all don't like me because we watch more TV than we read the word and we wonder why we have nightmares we spend more time feeding our bodies and feeding our spirits and we wonder why we're spiritually weak in the midst of an attack God help us to put first things first help us Lord to get it straight help us Lord to get it straight help us Lord to get it straight in Jesus name we sit been so much time exercising at the gym more than we exercise our spiritual gifts God help us to get it straight help us to get it straight help us to get it straight God we're asking you for divine alignment we need an adjustment we need a divine alignment we need some of you need small tweaks some of you need overhauls look there's no condemnation I don't get on here trying looking to pray these things this is what comes out of of intimacy with God and pressing in for what he wants for these calls 
Sometimes he takes over my mouth. So if you have an issue with your idolatry, take it to Jesus and defend it to him. If you have an issue with your way you spend your, if, with me calling out the way you watch more TV, then read the word, take it to Jesus, ask him about it. Say, Jennifer said, she, I was watching five hours of TV and getting the word five minutes and that's wrong, God, and I'm mad she said it. Take it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord help us all to come up higher give us the grace to break wrong thought patterns give us the grace to break bad habits give us the grace to ascend in you instead of descending into the entertainment zone of the world which wants to numb our minds and interject false images of uh, immorality and idolatry and all of these issues trying to plant seeds in our heart through the things we watch on TV or hear on the radio God help us be discerning help us understand the plan and the plot of the wicked one to get us to gaze upon the quote unquote beauty of the world instead of gazing upon the beauty of our God help us Lord to make the shift today in Jesus name we thank you Lord we thank you Lord for your grace we thank you, Lord, for your great love with which you love us. You love us so much that you want to be in our presence all the time, and you are, but we don't always recognize you. So help us today, Lord, to make that shift, to make you the most important thing in our life, not a friend, not a husband, not a wife, not a college degree, not a big bank account, but to make you literally, genuinely the most important thing in our life, our greatest pursuit. Yes, there it is. Oh, my shorter abasha. Help us, Lord, to make you our greatest pursuit. Come on, there's wind on this. Listen. Help us, Lord, to make you our greatest pursuit among all other pursuits that are healthy and genuine and bona fide and necessary among all other pursuits that we must pursue. Careers and promotions and these things that are not wrong in any way. Help us, Lord, to make you the object of our greatest pursuit. Let me tell you something today. God wants to be first place in your life, beloved. He wants to be first place. He wants to be first place. This is why he's having me and leading me to pray this way. He's wanting to be first place. And maybe he is in your life. I'm not saying he's not. But he's emphasizing the fact, the reality, that he wants to be first. Jesus Christ was the first born from the dead. He was the first and only begotten son. He was the first. And we must keep him first. We must put him first. We must keep him first. We must put him first. We must keep him first. We must put him first. He deserves the glory and the honor. So we give you praise, God. We honor you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we honor you, and we do. God, help us to keep you first. Because we'll say with our lips, God, you are first, and then something comes to distract our hearts, and he's no longer first. We don't respond the way we're supposed to respond. We don't move the way we're supposed to move. We don't obey in the moment we're supposed to obey because our hearts are distracted by the things of the world and the drama of life. God, help us to keep you first, not just to put you first, but to keep you first, not just to put you first, but to keep you in that first place, not to have you up and down. Today, your first place. Tomorrow, your second place because of the soccer tournament. At 8 a.m., your first place. But at 10 a.m. in the staff meeting, when everyone's provoking us, you're not first place anymore. Our flesh becomes first place. God, help us to put you in first place and keep you in first place. To put you in first place and keep you in first place. To put you in first place and to keep you in first place. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the grace to do that, for the grace to put you in first place. We love you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to make some decrees. I want to come against this procrastination. So many of you deal with this. You admit it. You email me. There's no condemnation. I'm not judging you. I used to be a procrastinator also. But I got free, hallelujah. I got free, praise God, hallelujah. 
I'm not a procrastinator anymore. I'm ahead of the curve. I'm ahead of the game. I don't wait till the last minute I get out in front of a thing. Hallelujah. And you can too. But you've got to stop labeling yourself a procrastinator. You've got to stop decreeing over yourself that you're a procrastinator. You've got to break this evil decree. Sometimes you can't break a habit because you have cursed yourself. You have decreed over yourself so many times. I am a procrastinator. And then you've condemned yourself for being a procrastinator. The truth is you are not a procrastinator. You are proactive in Christ. You serve a proactive God. You are made in his image. Therefore, you are not a procrastinator. You are proactive. Come on, you need to shift your language. You need to shift your decree over yourself. You need to shift your language. You need to shift the words of your mouth. You need to shift your language. Stop calling yourself a procrastinator. Stop calling your children procrastinators because they wait until the last minute to do that school project. Stop calling people procrastinators. Let's shift it today and be proactive in Jesus name yeah let's change it mm. let's change it let's change it so I'm gonna decree and you've got to decree with me I can decree over you and that's a good healthy thing for me to do that's a good way for me to help you but if I decree and then you get in the car and drive to work talking to your friend saying oh yeah I just keep procrastinating on that book I'm supposed to write come on I decree in the name of Jesus. We are proactive in the name of the Lord. I break every evil decree of procrastination in the name of the Lord. I see that, Lord. Some of you procrastinate over some things, but not over others. Why is that? Dread, fear. Feelings of inadequacy. I break these things over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that no fear will stop you from doing the will of God. I decree that no inadequate, no sense of inadequacy will stop you from getting on top of your game in the name of Jesus. I decree that all fear that is not fear of God is broken over your life in Jesus' name. I come against this constant nagging voice. That says you're not going to get it done in time. The anxiety that comes through procrastination does not belong to you. I break the powers of these voices that try to get you to stall and stall and stall and stall. I break the spirit of self procrastination, the tendency, the habit of self sabotage in the name of Jesus. I decree self sabotage is broken over your life in the name of Jesus. Come on. I see so many of you and you're sabotaging yourself by procrastinating. These two things work together. They work together. They work together. They work together. They work together. All the excuses of the mind, all the rationalities of the soul, all the reasonings of the intellect. And all of a sudden, it's too late to do what you knew you were supposed to do six months ago. All of a sudden, your back is against the wall because you waited until it was almost too late. You sabotaged yourself, and now you're mad at yourself, and you're condemning yourself. And then the next time the opportunity comes, you don't even try because of what happened last time and the memory of it. I decree this cycle over your life is broken in the name of Jesus. I decree it. In Jesus' name, these cycles of self-sabotage, broken, 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 broken. The cycle of procrastination, the manifestation of procrastination, I decree is broken. I decree the root cause of procrastination is broken in the name of Jesus. I break it, 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 I break it in the name of Jesus. Yes, come on. You can break it with your mouth, but you got to put feet to your faith. You got to begin to go put your hand back to the plow. You got to pick up your tool again and, and, and build, pick up your weapon and fight. Come on. In the name of Jesus, God, would you help us? Oh, Jesus, you are king. You are not a procrastinator. Oh, God, we're so grateful. You didn't procrastinate about going to the cross. You didn't 
didn't say, I'll do it next week. I'll do it next month. I'll do it in another 2000 years. You didn't procrastinate. You didn't let it wait. You had a sense of urgency over us and God. We today say and decree. We have a sense of urgency over what is urgent to your heart. God, we have a sense of urgency. We're urgent about that, which is urgent to you. We are urgent God about that, which is urgent to you. Whatever it is you've told us to do, we're not going to procrastinate any longer. Whatever desire you put in our heart that you want to see manifested as a dream that gives you glory. We're not going to procrastinate anymore. I am proactive in the name of Jesus. I decree. I am proactive in the name of Jesus. I decree you are proactive in the name of Jesus. I just saw a picture of someone just shedding a coat called procrastination. You just walked right out of it, honey. You just let it just, just, it just fell right off of you as you started to walk forward. Hear me. I saw a picture. And as you started to move forward, this coat called procrastination fell off of you. It just fell off. You didn't have to wiggle your arms. You didn't have to unbutton it. You didn't have, no, no, no. It just fell off of you. Whoosh. It just fell off. It was that easy. Some of you, the enemy has deceived you into thinking that you'll never break whatever cycle it is. Maybe it's not procrastination. Maybe it's something else. He has deceived you into thinking you'll never break this cycle. You'll never stop having this result in your life. It's a lie of the enemy. If you'll just start walking toward God, ah, if you'll just stop walking toward him, if you just start walking toward him, rather, if you'll just start walking toward him, if you'll just start walking toward him, if you'll just start walking toward him, that coat of procrastination, that coat of fear, that cloak of depression, <coughs> that cloak or whatever it is that's holding you back. If you'll just keep your eyes on him, if you'll just keep walking toward him, because the reason why some of this has been allowed to settle on you is because you've settled in that place of defeat. You've settled in that place of rejection. You've settled in that place of self-sabotage and you've accepted it as a reality. This is who I am. Beloved, that is not who you are. You are not a procrastinator. You are proactive. Ye bo shora ba shire be she. Ye ra ba 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 shoko tom brashte. Kete me she kete brishte. Ye romo shakatam bo she. Ye ke. Oh Jesus, I decree over you a rapid acceleration. I'm making up for lost time. I see in the spirit of you will just determine in your heart today to do the right thing, to stop procrastinating, to take a step of faith, to put your hand to the plow, to begin to swing the sword. If you'll just say yes to the Lord, you will once and for all rise up out of the ashes of procrastination like a phoenix from the flame and you will ascend and you will begin to see things in your life shift and change that you've been praying for for forever because you can't just pray for a thing you got to step out into a thing you got to follow God in a thing you got to decide in your heart I am responsible I am able I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me so father help us today to grab hold of the reality of who we are in you and what you've empowered us to do what you've empowered us to do. The spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of us. The spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of us. And he is not a procrastinator. He is an empowerer. And he gives us grace. He gives us grace. He gives us grace. to do what we could never do on our own. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mega grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mega grace. Two years ago, the Lord said, mega grace and mega faith make a mega movement. You want to see 
some mega movement in your life, then you need to grab hold of mega faith and receive the mega grace and you will begin to see things shift and change and move just like I did. Thank you, Jesus. We're putting you first today. We're giving you the preeminence because if we give you the preeminence, we will not procrastinate. And I decree a shift in your life from procrastination to proactive in the name of Jesus for your glory. We thank you, Lord. We honor and adore you. We magnify and exalt you. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There's no other God like you. You are the perfect one. You are the Holy One. You are the one who promises provision and then delivers. Ah, you are the one who promises healing and then manifests your power. You are the one who promises deliverance is the children's bread and then cast out devils by your finger. Hallelujah. You are the one who comforts us, positions yourself as the comforter of our soul and shows up in those dark deep moments where nobody else is around to whisper a word of life to our heart you are the one you are the one you are awesome we're so grateful for you Jesus hallelujah to the Lamb of God hallelujah to the Lamb of God hallelujah to the Lamb of God you're not a procrastinator so we're not procrastinators that's an assignment from hell and it breaks today I decree it in the name of Jesus no longer will the enemy stop you with the thoughts and the whispers of why you can't why you're not adequate why it's scary but I decree you will rise up and pursue all of your dreams and you will see your dreams come true in Jesus name amen I decree it in the name of Jesus now you got to put your feet to it don't let me sit here and look cute decreeing and you sit there looking cute watching TV amen get up and do your part God will do his part God will always do our part he won't do our part we can't do his part but he will do his part when we do our part what's our part obey him follow him he's faithful he'll show you the way he wants you to succeed at the highest levels because it glorifies him hallelujah God is good praise God I have a few announcements for you I'm, in, I'm heading to Charlotte I'm in Atlanta I'm heading to Charlotte if you're in Charlotte stick with me I want you to come see me tonight but I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed some of you need to sow a seed to memorialize the day that you decided to stop procrastinating the day that you decided to receive God's grace listen help me do what God's called me to do Help me to get this call out to more people around the world who have never heard this kind of prayer, who don't have anyone in their life who can touch and agree with them, who don't understand that one prayer can change their life because they've never experienced anything because they're in a religious paradigm where they pray, thank you, Jesus, and that's all they know how to receive. Help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Listen, if you can sow today, if you can help me advance the mission of Jennifer LeClaire Ministries and Awakening House of Prayer, I want you to do so. If you can get involved as a partner, I want you to do so. There's a, a partner resource that goes out every month available for you. Get involved in what blesses you. If we're blessing you, bless us back. You'll receive even more from this broadcast if you sow into the ministry amen because you're making that connection that deeper connection so father we thank you in the name of Jesus for the opportunity to give now if you want to become a partner you can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash give jenniferleclair.org slash give you can become a partner there you can sow a one-time seed there at jenniferleclair.org slash give all of the different ways to donate are also labeled there we even have which I don't ever go over on the broadcast we even have international wire transfer because somebody asked for that I don't know how many other ways people can donate but it seems like we've got a good number of them there listen jenniferleclair.org slash give paypal.me slash jenniferleclair paypal.me slash jenniferleclair paypal.me 
slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the Cash App dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Cash App dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Cash App dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. If you're sending a check, you're sending a money order. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. Am I forgetting anything? Text to give 754 701 2161. 754-701-2161. You wake up early. You've been thinking about running in the morning while you while praying. I used to walk while I did these prayer calls many years ago. I used to walk up and down this very long hall. I tried to get a little bit. It was about 30 minutes and I'd walk. Pace. Walk. Walk quickly. Walk briskly. Amen. Get up and run, moment of God. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Hallelujah, God is good. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to sow into your kingdom because we can never outgive you. And you love a cheerful giver. And God, we're glad to give. We're glad to obey you. Your, bur- your commandments are not burdensome. Your yoke is easy and your burdens are light. So, Father, help us today to get involved in blessing somebody else by sowing a seed that will also bless us in Jesus name amen and amen 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 I multiply this offering back to the givers in Jesus name I ask you Lord to let this seed do everything and represent everything that your people need individually and collectively in Jesus name. We thank you Lord. 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 I lift up all of my awakening blaze prayer leaders, my awakening house of prayer leaders around the world, my ignite network members, all the ministries that are aligned with me. I lift up my staff and all of my donors, my partners, my givers, everyone listening to the sound of my voice. I say, Lord bless them indeed. Enlarge their territory. Let your hand of power be upon them and keep them from evil in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for the multiplication of this seed in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God is good. Somebody say all the time. He's good all the time. Not just sometimes, but all the time. He is good. I am heading to Charlotte. I was in Atlanta last night. We had a great time. My only issue is that we have to get out of that particular facility by nine. So I felt rushed and the Lord was moving and touching people. And I wanted to go deeper and give some very specific words to specific people. And the reality is we have to get out of that building. So we are in Atlanta, a lit awakening house of prayer in Atlanta. Awakening House of Prayer in Atlanta. If you are interested in learning more about that, if you're in Atlanta and you're saying, hey, I didn't know you were here, go to uh, awakeninghouseofprayer.com slash Atlanta and learn more about who we are and what we do. We, We do need to find a more permanent facility, but one step at a time. We've been coming into Atlanta now. Well, I've been coming into Atlanta for years, but we've been coming into Atlanta uh, with this thrust since... August I want to say it was August was it August I started coming heavily into Atlanta last February so about a year ago and we planted a house of prayer if you want to be part of that go to awakeninghouseofprayer.com slash Atlanta we do have a brand new website for Awakening House of Prayer that will debut any day now I'm really excited about it you can see all the locations around the world today I'm going to Charlotte I'm going to Charlotte. We're heading to Charlotte. I'm going to go have breakfast with my leader here in Atlanta. And then we're going to Charlotte to have a meeting tonight. It's actually in Kannapolis, about 25 minutes from the Charlotte airport. I want you to get out there if you can. Go on my Eventbrite, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com and register. You're going to find a lot of other stuff there. There's a special event I'm doing online through Awakening TV with Larry Sparks. And it's free. 
And you're going to want to hear all the words of the Lord for 2019 that he has compiled strategically. You can sign up for that at Eventbrite, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. You can also get part of the special presentation on Awakening TV that I'm doing with Shay On. Shay On, one of the preeminent apostles of our day. He's got a network of thousands and thousands of, man, it's just amazing what he has done, what he has built for the glory of God in a healthy manner. And he'll be with me on this Awakening TV special broadcast uh, later on this month, talking about um, operating in your, what's it called? Hold on, let me tell you exactly what it's called. This just was verified yesterday. Stepping into the apostolic anointing. Stepping into the apostolic anointing. Hmm. Stepping into the apostolic anointing. Hallelujah. And then with Larry Sparks, prophetic words for 2019. Hallelujah. Uh, wait, the, 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 the prophetic release tour. I will be in Charlotte tonight. I will be in New York City on January the 20th. I will be in Washington, D.C. on the 28th, where we are launching a, an awakening house of prayer. We will meet every week in D.C. We will meet every week in D.C. Colinga, California. I'll be with you on February the 6th. I'm coming your way, California. Get there. One stop in California. Singapore, London, Iceland. We're taking the awakening. We're taking the prophetic release tour to you. Go on my Eventbrite and subscribe. You can follow me on Eventbrite. Get to my website. Get on my mailing list. That's how you find out about these things. Go to morningswiththeholyspirit.com and be part of the sweepstakes. About, I want to say, 55 or 60 people are going to win prizes, journals, Private phone calls with me, devotionals. Go sign up. This is the five year anniversary of Mornings with the Holy Spirit. Five year anniversary. It's absolutely incredible. Five year anniversary of Mornings with the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine? We've been doing this five years. Lives changed, people delivered, marriages restored. All of the day's work for God. All the glory goes to Him. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Get there. School of the Spirit TV. Please go look at the courses that we have there. there are lots of stuff for you to get equipped with. If you're a member of the Ignite Network, you get a 15% discount. What's Ignite? It's a network of apostolic and prophetic people. You're going to want to go check it out at IgniteNow.org. 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 We met last night a couple that's launching a house church under the Awakening House Church movement. Some of you live in small towns or big cities. I don't know where you live, but many times you cannot find the right church to go to. Maybe you're to start a house church. Maybe you're to start a house church. Go to awakeninghouse.com. Amen. God is good all the time. I've got to get ready to get on the road, get to this breakfast, and the Atlanta traffic, as you know, is quite something. So I'm going to go and get ready. And I bless you with the blessing of the Lord. Uh, we're not going to go back into worship today because I've got to get on the road. Amen. God is good. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. If you can get to Charlotte, get there. The address is on my website. Or it's actually on the Eventbrite, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Hello, Kimberly Skeins in Retford, England. Looking forward to seeing you. God bless you. Have a great day.